welcome to this episode of Angels Travel Unravel. So in this special episode, we're going to be comparing two of my favorite products, the Bartesian and the Bed by Black & Decker. Now, the Bartesian cocktail machine, first of all, if you're tuning into this channel, into this video, you already know what these both do. You already know what they are. But just if you need a recap, they're both automated cocktail drink machines. And what you do is, is you buy a box of these capsules from Bartesian.com and you buy either one of these machines and then you take the capsules and you put them in the machine, it mixes the alcohol and it creates a cocktail for you. Uh, if you wanna see how each machine works individually, if you wanna see in-depth uh, unboxing of both the machines, of the machines individually, then the link is in the description below. Um, so I have one for the Bartesian. The Bartesian came out a couple of years ago uh, and we have a, that video up on our channel. And then the Bed by Black & Decker, which just came out a couple of weeks ago, uh, we have the unboxing and review of that video as well. This video though, is really special because we're gonna be comparing the two of them. What are the differences? What are some of the things that, you know, Black & Decker had a chance to improve over the original Bartesian cocktail machine, if any, right? So we're gonna do a couple of tests today. First, we're gonna look at both machines in depth. We're gonna look at how the system works. We're gonna look at what's better, what's not. Um, and we're going to make the same exact drink. We're gonna start with the Blackberry Margarita on both machines with the both with both glasses, same amount of ice, same everything. Uh, we're actually gonna be utilizing the triple berry sugar from uh, Bartesian. So this goes great with the Blackberry Margarita. So head over to Bartesian.com and definitely get yourself these, uh, these sets before you order any of these machines. You'll want to have them because unfortunately right now, when you order these cocktail machines, they don't come with uh, uh, samples, right? So if you're watching this and you're thinking about getting the two, make sure to head over to Bartesian.com and put it in order so that you have the capsules ready to go for when you do make the decision about which machine you want to use. For today, that's what we'll do. We're going to test this. We're going to test a couple of more cocktails as well because we want to pull from all the reservoirs and see. Uh, but let me stop wasting enough time and talking. Let's, let's talk about the Bartesian originally first, and then let's talk about the Bed by Black and Decker. And I mean, I wouldn't be doing a fair comparison if I didn't mention that the cost, right? Because when you look at both machines, cost is definitely a factor. Right now on Amazon, the Bed by Black and Decker, which is linked in the description below, sells retails for $2.99, right? And then the Bartesian uh, sales for $3.69. So there is a significant price difference there if you're looking, uh, you know, with the Bed by Black and Decker, that extra $69 I could use on Bartesian's website to order some more capsules. Whereas for $3.69, you're getting just a machine, no capsules, right? So there's definitely something that, uh, you know, at least to be desired when it comes to price comparison. So already, before we even start the other three tests, Bev takes around as far as price retailing at $2.99, Bartesian retailing their machine for $3.69. So we're actually going to be reviewing three categories. We're going to be reviewing the style of each one, and then we'll decide which one's win style. We're going to talk about functionality of the two and talk about uh, which one does better functional, functional wise, which one is more functional to create cocktails, create less of a mess and things like that. And then the last and final test, how do the drinks taste? Are they similar? Does each machine make them different? So stay tuned. Let's go through each test. Let's go through each category. Let's go. All right, so let's talk about style. So the style of the Bartesian is nice and sleek. I like it. It's got uh, all universal uh, reservoirs so that it all looks nice on the countertop. And it definitely looks like a really, really nice, expensive piece of equipment. So the style is definitely there. I do like the gray finish. I do like the rubberized bar mat. I like the Bartesian name inscribed right in there. Also, I love the LED screen. It's very, very responsive, very, very snappy. You can put it to sleep. You can wake it back up. Um, it does uh, load up quickly. You've got your settings menu here. You can talk to first use, switch when you're rinsing, cleaning it, and then when you're getting ready to transport it. So it's very straightforward. You understand exactly which buttons do what, right? So that's definitely very good. Um, and then the water reservoir sits on the back, nice and sleek, right in there. You just close it up, you fill in your water, it pops right out. So the style, I definitely do like the Bartesian style right so let's talk about the bev's style. so the style is really nice on the bev by black and decker as well uh it's got the cool lights right which also kind of do a party mode type thing so as far as style i do think it complements the style and i do like that um it's got several modes that it does 
uh, I also do like that, you know, the the bottles kind of sit, you can display your bottles. So for style, if you if you don't want the universal look of the Bartesian, um, you could also just use the actual liquor bottles and you can kind of display what you like, right? Which I kind of, it's, it's hit or miss, right? Because, I mean, if I want my guests to know that they're drinking Tito's, they know that they're drinking Tito's. Um, but... And here it's kind of left to a mystery. I've even had guests, whenever I make them a cocktail, let's say I'm doing a blackberry margarita, they say, well, what kind of tequila are you using, right? Well, you don't have to ask that here because you see clearly what the alcohol is. Uh, so there is that. And again, as far as style goes, it depends on what you like. If you like a clean look, you go with the Bartesian. If you like displaying the liquor that you're using, then you go with the Bed by Black and Decker. So in this instance, the style on both of them is very, very nice. It's very unique, uh, but it's all up to personal preference, right? The Bev is a little bit more flashier with the lights. Um, you get to display the bottles that you have, but the Bartesian, you get a nice colorful LED screen and you get that universal clean look. You don't have the lights, but how often are you gonna use the lights? Well, it's up to you, right? Uh, so as far as style is concerned, who wins the style department? The Bev by Black & Decker is going to take this round for style. And the reason for that is because it's just my opinion. I prefer to have my bottles displayed so you can see which alcohol you're having as opposed to the cleaner look of the Bartesian, which is kind of all the reservoirs the same. Now that's open to preference. For me, that really takes the cake. I also like the fact that the area is lit up. You've got the bottles that are light up. So at night when you dim the lights, um, it just looks really, really neat. Um, the one thing that the Bartesian does do better, though, is it's got the LCD screen, and I do love that. Uh, but I can sacrifice that because the rest of the style that the Black & Decker has, I think it's just outstanding, and I think it's a very nice unit. So for me, today, I think the Bed by Black & Decker wins the style round. All right, so now that we've got style out the way, let's talk about functionality of both units. First, let's start with the Bartesian since they came out first. So let's talk about water reservoir. The water reservoir system in the partition, it sits on the back, okay? And you kind of just lift this lid here, and then you look back and you see how much water is left in the system. Now this is a separate tank which pops right out just like that. And you could fill it in, um, you know, fill it with water. I use distilled water to avoid any kind of chemicals or anything like that, getting any mold or growing or anything like that. Um, but it could be a little bit difficult to see how much water is left in there whenever you're making drinks, especially if you're using the machine, right? So if we come over to the Bev by Black & Decker, um, here is their water reservoir. And I could say it's a lot more pleasant to look at. One, you've got the light shining at the bottle. It's a clear bottle. It's got that straw design that goes into it, just like the rest of them, so it looks universal. But I think one of the key differences with the bed, with the water reservoir, is that I can clearly see how much water I have left without having to lift anything, look at the unit, or anything like that. The advantage of that is, um, whenever I am getting low, I'm not going to be wasting any pods because I don't have enough water inside the reservoir. Now, to be fair, the Bartesian does warn you on the screen when you need to add more water. Uh, but it's just the fact that I'd like to avoid that whole process if I can just see how much water I have in there. So for functionality, as far as the water reservoir is concerned, the Bev is going to take this one as well. The second part is loading up the alcohol in each unit. So on the Bartesian, uh, you would actually just lift up the reservoir, the alcohol reservoir, just like this. You're going to turn it over. And then you're going to go ahead and you unscrew it, lift it, pour the alcohol in there. Then you uh, turn it over and you place it back in. Now, if you can see there, I did make a little bit of a mess there, so some alcohol I'm going to have to clean up. It does happen from time to time when you're removing because you're utilizing gravity in order to pull the alcohol from the reservoirs. Well, how do you do it with the Black & Decker? Well, it's pretty self-explanatory, right? But I'll show you. On the Black & Decker, you kind of just lift this lever here and you pull out the straw system that they have in place. You take the bottle that you bought right in the store and you simply just put this straw right on top of it. You can take the cap, you can throw it away. Um, and then you just fill it into, put it in its desired space. So just so you know, they are labeled, although it's very hard to see on the Black & Decker, which is a complaint of mine. Uh, that does say whiskey there. So I know in fact that the whiskey does go here and you just put the straw system in place right in there. You push it in and then you just push this down to secure it. 
and that's it. Your whiskey's ready to go. There's never any risk of a mess or cleanup because it's not utilizing gravity. It's using the straw system to pull the, the right amount of alcohol in. So again, uh, functionality wise, as far as loading up the alcohol, the Bev does take this one again, yet again. All right, so let's talk about whenever we do make our drinks, right? We've loaded up all the alcohol. I've went ahead and and uh, already put the sugar on the rim of this uh, glass right here, low ball glass. We're gonna be doing the blackberry margarita. We'll do the same thing on the Bev in a minute. So let's talk about going through the drinks. So we'll go ahead and lift the lid here and uh, we'll put our, there it is, our capsule. Now, uh, we did a couple of drips and went into the cup, but that's never been really a huge deal. So I went ahead and lowered. So you see there, you got clear instructions on the Bartesian, which I love. Place a low ball glass with ice under the dispenser, which I did. Then you're going to hit next. And now here it tells you the spirit strength. So you've got mocktail, light, regular, strong. Again, like I said earlier, you, do, you don't know because over here, if you don't read the instructions, it looks like small, medium, large. So they should have some, there's no indication about what, if it's the size of the drink or if it's the strength, right? So I do like that it's clearly articulated here. We're going to do regular because that's how we're going to do this test and it's going to pull from the uh, tequila reservoir on the back. Now, what I did was I used all the same alcohol, but I kept the bottles here because here it's more universal. So let's go ahead and hit regular and hit mix. And now we'll see the Bartesian mix. There it is going right there and it's pulling from the tequila reservoir. There we go. Beautiful. So you can see there, it was quick, easy, dry, not a huge deal, right? But here, now you've got your LED screen saying, cheers, open the lid, remove the capsule. So now you open the lid, you're gonna remove your capsule, then put it on the side and discard it. So that was quick and easy. The functionality of actually making the drink was really, really easy. And now we're ready to enjoy this one. But before we do that, we've got to make the same drink on the Bev by Black & Decker and talk about how that process works. All right, so now let's head over to the Bev by Black & Decker. So you see we got the same cup. We've gone ahead and sugar-coated the rim. Again, make sure you go to bartesian.com pick it up because this triple berry sugar rimmer is delicious. All right, so this is a low ball glass. Here's one thing, again, because we're talking about functionality that I do like about the Bev, is that they do have this little shelf that you could bring down if you're using a low ball glass. What that does is, is it puts the glass closer so that there's a less chance for spillage. And I do like that. Now, although we did not experience any spillage here with the Bartesian, it does happen sometimes. But personally, we did not experience that over here. So let's go ahead and let's make the same drink all right, and we're gonna go ahead and turn that dial to regular because that's what we did over here on the Bartesian so that it's a fair comparison. First of all, if you look on the inside, it looks like they both use the same kind of cradle uh, for each unit, right? Now, I don't know if they're interchangeable. We could certainly try that after. All right, so let's take our same capsule. Let's go ahead and put it inside the Bev by Black & Decker. Let's go in sideways. It's right in the cradle just like that. And now we're ready to rock and roll. We've made sure it's on the regular, which is the same that we did on the Bartesian here. And let's go ahead and hit mix. There it goes. You'll see it's grabbing from the tequila bottle and it's mixing. Now it seems like it's pulling from the water reservoir in the back. There it is. So as far as how much you get to drink, same amount of ice, it's very, very similar. So you don't get skimped out on the drink. Each machine makes the same drink. Let me go ahead and put them down. Again, no editing. This is just me taking them from each side, side by side. And here's the Bartesian and here is the Bev. And they both pretty much look the same. All right, so we've talked about the style of each unit. We've talked about the functionality of each unit. They're both very, very good units. They complement each other. But now the ultimate test, my favorite part, is how do they actually taste? So we're gonna do the Bartesian taste test. Again, we're gonna be testing blackberry margarita. So let's give that one a shot. 
I'm going to be trying the Bartesian drink first. Got our uh, triple berry sugar on the rim. Mm. It's such a tasty drink. It's very good. You taste the alcohol, and it's just regular. Um, you definitely taste the drinks and the juices. The Bartesian, I've had this one for years. Never had any issues with it. Very good. Before I get ahead of myself. Bad by Black & Decker. Same drink, same strength, same everything. Let's see. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay, so I will say this. They're both on regular, but this one tastes stronger, right? Um, I don't know why. They both are the same. They have the same alcohols, have the same everything, but maybe this normal pours just a little bit more than Bartesian's normal. But I can tell you that this one tastes a little bit stronger. Just a little bit. Um, but the taste is great on both of them. Um, so, if I like alcohol, I like to drink. Um, I like to drink, you know, I'm, I'm not drinking these machines to get drunk, I'm drinking them to enjoy them. If you're drinking them to enjoy them, and I certainly do like the taste of the Jose Cuervo tequila with the blackberry margarita mix, um, I would definitely say that the Bad by Black and Decker made the drink just a little bit stronger. Uh, so in my opinion, because I like the drink to be just a little bit stronger, um, I think that the Bed by Black & Decker takes this round. But other than just the how strong the drink is, um, they both do taste the same. The taste the same. The quality, which is what's most important of all, the quality between the two uh, drinks is exactly the same. Um, alcohol content, definitely on the Bev is a little bit stronger. Um, yeah. <laughs> this one's going to put you to sleep a lot faster. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, another one that I wanted to do was Rum Runner. Now what I actually want to do is I'm going to put the capsule in both of the machines at the same time. So this is Rum Runner. You can actually pick this up at Bartesian.com as well. And uh, let's see, as far as speed is concerned, which one finishes the drink first. I'm going to push the button at the same time. All right, so um, I'll go ahead and put the Rum Runner right in there. Put the Rum Runner right in here. All right. Closing the lid. Closing the lid. All right, so. We're gonna go ahead and hit the buttons at the same time. Again, we're keeping it regular. We're not going, we're not changing the, the flow of the drinks here. Just close my ice maker here. Hit next. Now the Bartesian actually have to ask if the rum has been installed. So that's ready to go. This is ready to go. So now I'm gonna hit mix on both and we'll see how it turns out. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. look to both be done well the Bartesian is not quite done yet but the Bev is there it goes cheers so as far as pouring they both look at once again it's like perfection they both pour the same exact amount it's pretty amazing actually both units do the quality of the drink is there I'm telling you both these units are great but we did a side-by-side -side comparison, uh, and they both they both look exactly the same. As you can see, I think the Bev finished slightly like half a millisecond faster, and that was only because we were waiting for the progress bar to finish up here. But they're both ready to go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, up. so in addition to the price, we let's recap and let's go over the three different categories that we talked about, right? We talked about style, we talked about functionality, and then we talked about taste. So let's just recap quickly. As far as style is concerned, which one wins? Well, they both have pros and cons about them, right? We talked a little bit about that a little bit earlier, but overall, I think the Bev by Black & Decker takes it. I mean, just 
as far as style is concerned. You've, you know, you've got the lights, which I really do like the lights on the system. It doesn't have a screen like the Bartesian, but it does have the lights and the overall look, the matte black look. I really do like the sleek fit and finish of the Bev by Black & Decker as far as style is concerned, um, especially sitting on my bar. It just looks nice. I also like the ability with the style to be able to display the bottles that I use. Now, some may prefer a cleaner look with the Bartesian, but what I do like about the Bev is that you can have either. Uh, you could buy bottles that, uh, that are similar and universal that would fit in here. Now, there are numerous bottles. If you're on the, the Bev by Black & Decker official Facebook page, go ahead and, and like it. You'll see plenty of ideas. We will have different bottles, clear bottles, to be able to get that same universal look, right? But for me, I like displaying the bottles of alcohol uh, to, to show folks, you know, what it is that I'm mixing it with. Uh, so for style, the Bev definitely takes the, the, the round there. When we talk about functionality, um, at the end of the day, again, we talked earlier about the pros and cons of each unit, right? Uh, the Bartesian has everything uh, utilizing gravity, so the bottles are upside down so that the liquid goes down. The problem with that is when you go to interchange them, especially on the gin and rum, you risk you know things spilling all over the place. Um, and I have seen it. I've seen it done uh, you know numerous times on different videos and on some of my friends and families that have a Bartesian unit as well. Uh, but on the Bev, you know, the, everything is sitting upright. So the straw kind of sucks all the alcohol up. So the functionality, I do <clears throat> I do like that on the Bev side. However, the Bartesian has this really cool, sleek LCD screen, which we talked about before. And it's very, very easy to identify and tell me exactly what I have to do. So when I put my capsule in, I see my directions, I see mix, I see uh, exactly what I have to do in order to make the drink. The Bev by Black & Decker, again, I said it before, this is a this is a negative on the Black & Decker's part. There's no screen. So because there's no screen, if you don't read the directions, just looking at this, you, you wouldn't realize, you wouldn't know what this is, right? To me, it looks like small, medium, and large. And you just turn it, you go small, medium, and large, right? Uh, but in fact, it's half a shot, single shot, double shot, you know, uh, uh, weak, um, regular, and then strong, just like on the Bartesian unit. And then all the way to the left is a mocktail, right? But on the LCD screen on the Bartesian, it explains that. It says that exactly what it is. And so when you think about functionality there, the Bartesian takes that side as well. So because they both have different features that for, as far uh, that makes them each functional in their own way, um, I think that this round goes to a tie. So functionality wise, depending on what it is that you're looking for, if you're okay with a little bit of spillage when you're going in between the reservoirs and bottles, but you'd rather have the sleekness of the LCD screen than the Bartesian, takes that round. If you like your bottles upright and you do read the directions and you can explain to everyone exactly what these uh, lights mean, then, you know, it's not a problem. You'll be okay with the, with the Bed by Black & Decker. But in that round, I think that functionality wise, they both have pros and cons. And so at that point, I'm calling a tie. Now for the final part, which was taste, right? We tasted the Blackberry Margarita. We tasted the Rum Runner, right? Both drinks. The Rum Runner utilizes rum and vodka, and then the Blackberry Margarita uses the tequila. Uh, on both tests, the Bev by Black & Decker made the drinks just a little bit stronger. A little bit, not by much. Again, could have been a palate test, but for me, it was the, the Bev by Black & Decker made the drinks just a little bit stronger. So in my opinion, because I like alcohol, um, I do think that although the drinks taste the same, the, the Bev by Black & Decker gets the edge a little bit more uh, just because uh, it poured, in my opinion, a little bit more alcohol than the Bartesian did. Now that's not to say you don't you don't you can't make a drink on strong or uh, you know th that's subject to opinion. But for this test, for my opinion, uh, the Bed by Black and Decker edges it out a little bit more. Now, full disclaimer here: the Bartesian has been around for a couple of years, like I've said a few times in this video. So Black and Decker has had numerous years to do research and development and to look and see where they can improve. So. I think it's time for Bartesian to come out with a new unit to kind of respond to this. And I know that there's a new one floating around out there. I think Ryan Close, the CEO of Bartesian, posted it on his LinkedIn page. Uh, it's called the Bartesian Pro. And it looks, it still uses, it, it looks similar, but it just looks better. It has a more sleek design. I don't know what kind of functionality it has a, a, as far as uh, the Pro version. I would love to get my hands on one of those if it ever becomes retail. But I know right now it's only exclusive to their business. Uh, partnerships uh, but it would be interesting to see that version the Bartesian Pro which was newly designed going up against the Bed by Black & Decker because as I said this Bartesian unit I at least have had it for almost three years 
Whereas this bed by Black & Decker, I've had it for about two weeks. So, you know, Black & Decker had a lot more time to be able to look in between the two. So I would love to be able to, to test that. Ryan, if you're watching this, you know, or you want to throw a Bartesian Pro this way, I still got space on my counter for it. So, you know, I'd love to be able to do a test as well. But if this is your first time watching, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions about either unit, um, you know, please, if I didn't cover something, definitely comment below. I'll try to give you an answer. Once again, my name is Angel from Angel's Travel and Ravel. Please drink responsibly. Thanks for watching.